You got to get into some things. Ooh. And you already know what things we about to get into. We gotta, you know what this podcast is about. You know what we talk about on here. What's going uh, on with us? We get into the mess. Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat. Because that was that was one of the topics that had me like, okay, I think we need to uh, have a show because I don't want this topic to get old. Right. You know, and it's already aging anywhere. <clears throat> but Nikki appeared on Twitter Spaces on a Twitter Spaces chat. Mm-hmm. And was asked about the rumor that she was supposedly supposed to be on Doja Cat's Get Into a Year on her Planet Her album. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't have the audio, but I can tell you what she said verbatim. Basically, she said, well, I can paraphrase it. Basically, she said that she asked to get on the song, she asked for more songs. You felt like she had nothing to add to it. My thing is this. You get what I'm saying? I definitely feel that... I definitely feel like Nikki would ate. You get what I'm saying? Either way, I felt like she would have definitely ate However, I have to trust her better judgment. And I said this on my TikTok page. I said, this needs to be a wake up call to other artists. Does it let people know like not everything needs to be a collab? Not all, not everyone always have to work together. Not in the aspect, like if it's not natural, if it's not organic. And when you look at it, people that come up with like songs and stuff like that, like that do remixes and, and collabs and features and stuff like that. It don't be that good. It don't sound good together. Some people don't sound good together on a certain song, or some people don't sound good in general. Yeah. And I think that's what Nikki was trying to say. Um, and then, and at that point, I was like, fine, I get it. I trust your better judgment. There's would have been nothing that you would have added to the song, even though I don't know. I feel like that song still would have ate if she was been on it. Well, but it's just me. So Doja Doja addressed it first, right when she went yeah. live and was saying that this didn't work out. Um, especially for that song because she loved her second verse and she didn't want to take her second verse off. And Nikki was like, it's first of all, it's a major compliment for Nikki. There's nothing I can do on this song because you did what needed to be done. Okay. So for Doja who loves Nicki Minaj, it's a major compl- a compliment. Mm-hmm. Um, and Nikki said that they sent her like three songs. I think, um, cause the Doja also said that it was Imagine was one of the songs. And she's like, yeah, I could have picked better songs, <clears throat> but it's like a learning lesson. Yeah, there's still hope for another Nikki and Doja collab. Nikki said um, in the Twitter space <clears throat> that what she would have liked would have been able to work with her like she did with Bia. You know, like, like in the studio and let's write together and let's, you know, make create a song together as opposed to you, your label sending me a song or trying to, you know, me write a verse, blah, blah, blah. And she said there was just, it was too many people in the middle. So like she reached out to Doja um, and was like, if it was, you know, a one on one thing, then. We could do we could do something so that may happen in the future um but it's you know sometimes when people get like one side of the information people run with it but yeah there is no there's there was never any hint of ill yeah because it was people trying to say oh well, nikki don't like doja or she's, no. trying, she's trying not to work i'm like girl no. first of all doja think, is, a, is yeah. a professional barb <laughs> okay and, and yep. that's not going to change so just because she's um one of the it girls right now in rap and she still pays homage to Nikki and, and gives her so much respect. And Nikki has has returned that love back to her. So there's no, no issue there. There's no more and I and I think I I think Nikki was being genuine with that. And I feel like like I said, it's like people really will just get on the song because oh the fans want it or oh they paid me this amount of money, this that and third, you send the verse, you do the verse. And it's just like it's just plain, like it's not it's not like features and remixes used to be like a real big deal. Like you'd be like, Oh my God, it'd be a moment. Yeah. In studio. They used to be in studio together, you know, with the verses. Now it's all like, Oh, send me the song. I'll go to my studio. It don't even, you can sometimes as a sound person too, you can tell when they're not in the same studio. Like you can almost tell, like when I see, when I heard Bia's remix with a whole lot of money with Nicki Minaj or whatever, you can tell they was in the same studio. I mean, they did, or, the or, at least had, or at least had the same engineer because you can send in yeah. raw, you can send in your vocals raw, and then you just have one engineer mix and master the mix and master the the, the single or mix and master the song. Um, but yeah, sometimes you can tell you can tell when people just add their verse on top of something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like you said, the different the different producers, people mm-hmm. edit things differently. I'll be like, why this? Now I got to turn it back up and shit. <laughs> 
Let me stop. <laughs> like, damn, you recorded this in your bathroom? What's going uh, on, girl? girl? Gain it up. Gain it up. Shit. But no. <laughs> That's that on that. We love Doja and Nikki. And I think some of the barbs also, not the, you know, because I love barbs, but like, they felt kind of a way they, 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 they kind of are trying to put two and two together. It's like, oh yeah, Nikki denied uh, the the feat, the collab or whatever. And then she did like, she cosplayed Nikki in the second verse. I was like, no. Doja was always going to have that verse in there. Um, if Nikki was going to be on it or not, I don't know how they would have did it, but you know, they're singers. They're, they're, they would have. They would have. Like we still could get a remix where, yeah, get into it. Yeah, or have what I want is I want to have her to redo it and then have Ariana pop on there. Oh, and then like, yeah, I want that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> get into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, but it cannot be like it cannot be like the uh, ooh, ooh, what's that? What's that? Chloe and Haley uh, song that uh, do it where they had freaking JT, Young Miami, uh, Ruby Rose. Oh, well, all the, I was like, child, Not Ruby Rose, child. <laughs> it wasn't Ruby Rose. It was uh, a lot, a lot of something like that. I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, Mul- uh, Mulatto. Mulatto and all the. Girls. Then J- they said Young Miami wasn't rapping on. No, JT wasn't rapping on beat and stuff. I'm like. Doja ate though. She ate she ate that verse, but yeah. Let's do it organically. Yes, let's push for that. Anyway. Whatever they decide to do. I mean, it's them. So well, speaking of Nikki, anyway, you heard me seeing she was uh hanging out with uh upon the replay. Yes, <laughs> Nikki was out there with the Avon lady. Not the Avon lady. <laughs> no, for real. I I look, let me tell you something. People are hoping. You know, that we'll get another Nikki and Riri situation. I hope so. Unless she's gonna drop a lipstick. That's what... <laughs> no, and let me tell you something. These singers, speaking of that, speaking of being her, her being the Avon lady, like these singers is coming out with they all make the beauty kits and stuff. I've seen Ariana, I think she's doing something. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. They're like, oh, you get a billionaire? You I could be a billionaire doing this and I ain't got a tour. Oh, That's okay. Right. Okay. Bet. <laughs> I'm just saying. 